Okay, if you watch this video, you're gonna be like, okay, excuse me, what is, what are we even doing? Okay, shout out to my boy Jeff Sue for giving me one of the single greatest pieces of advice on a Chrome extension ever. If you go to Papier, Papier, Papier in the Chrome web store, good old Chrome extension, or if you use Edge like a cool person like me, check what happens when I make a new tab. What? What? Look at this, look at this, uh, it's notes. It's not, look at the, the, watch, watch this. It tells you first of all what it is. Thank you for downloading Papier. Here's some handy shortcuts. So, I mean, it doesn't have like backslash functionality, but it has mark basic markdown stuff. As you can see, there's some little things right here. So if I open up this and delete it, right? Like this is the exact same synced Chrome notepad. So what I'm gonna do, essentially take this as I'm new to the product and then just be like notes and learn how this works, you know? Just like shift command C, make some check boxes. And now I have notepad that I can use at any point in time. Like what do we even, this is nuts. This should be the only Chrome extension you're using or, you know, in between tab stuff. There's probably other stuff I don't know about, but whatever. You can also open up this and you'll learn about the product as well. Something really cool too, is if you click on the bottom left right here, you'll see as well, there are the different keyboard shortcuts. So you can actually remove these, just keep notes at the top. And also you can change this to dark night mode, which is my favorite. So at any point in time, if I have a random idea, what I often do, which was psychotic, I'm going to like, I would open up a new tab and then like type it in here. I do automations often. So I'd like paste something that would be like, you see like, watch this. <laughs> I, put in, I put in the brackets and there's all these like values of the different uh, fields that I was mapping in the automation that I'd paste in there and then do like a little find and replace with it. But instead I could have, God, that was psychotic. I could have like put them here, right? And then changed it inside of the browser and been like, oh, 215. And then like, you know, grabbed it and then pasted it into the different automation fields. But this is so convenient. You're also able to change the design here. So you can change the color. I, I kind of like that grayish, too dark's too dark for me. Too dark, too, too, very dark is too, I, I can't English, uh, if you like that, fake dark mode, blue <laughs> stuff. Yeah, that was judgmental, I know. Um, but also for light mode too. It's not just like straight up white. You can have it be um, this like more notepad looking, different colors in general. So huge fan of this. You can adjust the fonts too. I kind of like Roboto more than Roboto Mono. And change the font size to regular, small, and medium. I'm just gonna keep it as regular. And that's about it. Outside of one last little tidbit, which is this on the bottom right, it has a words and character counter. Wild that I can see that in real 